And think you've taken some amazing selfies. Well, Alex Chacon is raising the bar. He traveled for 600 days and rode motorcycles more than 125,000 miles through 36 countries. He captured it all in what's being called the most epic selfie of all time. Wow, after barely a week online, the video is well over one and a half million views. Alex Chacon survived corrupt officials in Honduras, minefields crossing from Chile to Argentina, and a parasite in India. Now we're happy to say he's made it all the way to Studio 57. Alex, good morning. Good morning. We were watching yesterday, and I've got to tell you, I'm smitten with you, Alex Chacon. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to picture you as a little kid. I'm thinking you were not the nerd alert kid with the hush puppies and the pocket protector. Were you a daredevil little boy <laughs> when you were growing up? You know, not so much. I, that was just uh, something that developed over the years, but I always had the curiosity to looking at a globe at school saying, what does this place in the world look like? Who lives here? And how are they surviving every day? I heard that one of the things you wanted to do was to show goodness in people and inspire people to do good things, true? Absolutely. Yeah, I think uh, it's really amazing that people don't know some of the friendliest people actually live in the most remote parts of the world. If, you know, they give you as much as they can, so it's very interesting to share the goodness of people that My way. My sense is you did this for yourself, the yeah. experience of doing this, and you took time off from medical school in a sense, to, to really have the joy of your life, knowing that you might not come back and you had a wonderful legacy. You know, I, when I first left, I really had no idea what I was doing. It was more of a self-discovery, but people started joining in online, and it was really more about a trip for everybody because the way I was documenting it and sharing it, people were living vicariously through my travels, so I got a lot of support that way. Can we take a look at this video again because we're calling this the most amazing selfies. <laughs> um, how did you shoot all of this? How did you take these selfies? Um, I basically took it with a camera at the end of a stick, and this started through years ago so oh, there that's was before there were selfies holding. selfies didn't exist it was is a new concept the whole thing um, so it developed the way it is now and it's called the selfie now but so what is that a GoPro at the end of that stick yeah or? it's a GoPro at the end of the stick is it as difficult as it looks the way you shot it this looks very tough to me you know it took a few good months to actually understand how not to shake it and move it so it was really a, a technique rather than clever editing and in all of this what was the most memorable moment yeah oh that's like asking if you have nine kids oh, give us three which then. one do you love the most <laughs> <laughs> well just don't rank them just give us three uh, sure. I, I, i'll give you a few uh, as far as uh, the world's largest soft flat during the wet season in bolivia it becomes the world's largest mirror so you can't tell where the horizon meets the the floor so the, the whole sky largest, is largest what did you call it salt flat salt flat yeah, yeah, yeah. in bolivia and uh, the northern lights in alaska and as well the world's largest waterfalls in brazil okay you, how, how you, did you support yourself uh, you know, when I first started this trip, I graduated college. Luckily, I had no debt, but I had to sell everything I had, including the clothes off my back, my TV, my my uh, my gaming console, everything just to, to get as far as I could. And during the travel, um, people would actually house me, give me food, hear about my stories, and this inspiring thing. What, would you did, you, what did you learn? I think I learned everything. You learn how to live every day, you learn how to survive, you learn how to communicate, you learn how to basically, essentially, I imagine what the caveman uh, used to do as far as roaming and going from city to city, just surviving on a daily basis. So you'd recommend it to anybody? You know what, it was the most liberating experience I think any human can have because we're so connected to the technology world today that you know it takes a, a quick two to three minute video to really capture your view because we, we're like an attention span of a goldfish. Yeah. So uh, uh, absolutely, I mean, disconnecting from everything is just so liberating and so amazing. I wish everybody could have that experience. Well, can I follow up on Charlie's point because you said something about you, you knew that you were leaving a legacy. You could possibly die. So when you told your mom, she said, great, Alex, go. <laughs> What'd she say? Absolutely not. Obviously, there was, a lot, <laughs> there was a lot of obstacles to do the trip. And I always tell everybody, the hardest thing is leaving, is oh. leaving everything behind, sacrificing what you have at home and have nothing to come back to. So obviously, I was met with a lot of challenges and obstacles, mm -hmm. but that's why the majority of us don't get to do this. That's right. Well, good luck in medical yeah. school. You're going back? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. Hey, who knows? Oh. I'm taking oh. that as a no. Oh. Yes, I'll take that as we're a no. Taking, we're smart yeah, people maybe. here. We're taking I think you should. No. Go back and become a doctor. You can maybe. work around the world. I'm with you guys. Look where I am. Who yeah. Knows? <laughs> Keep us posted. We'll do a morning Alex show. Alex yes. Beautiful pictures. Thank you for sharing your journey with Thanks. us. Thanks for being here.